Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another paracord bracelet tutorial for you today. Doing something a little more interesting. So I know you guys have been enjoying some of the paracord critters. And because we normally do bracelets, why not do a paracord critter that's also a bracelet. So uh, this design of the uh, paracord tree snake is from JD Lenzen, of course. But with a bit of modification on my end, um, yeah, this is a wearable bracelet, which is really cool. Um, kind of, so when you do have it around your wrist, Kind of looks like you have a snake wrapped around your wrist. So that's the, uh, use your imagination of course a bit, but this is of course the tongue of the snake. That's where the head of the snake is. That's the body, the tail. So it's supposed to be kind of like a tree snake, um, at least according to JD's uh, design. And that's what we're doing today, right? So this one turned out pretty well, I think. So guys, remember if you're looking for where to get paracord, check out my affiliate links uh, down below, because when you shop through those, you're helping out this channel greatly. And I always appreciate that. So that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so to start out, I've got my piece of paracord here and it's roughly seven and a half feet, I believe. Of course, all measurements will be right there. And we're gonna start off with a simple snake knot. Now you would be skipping this step if you were just making the paracord critter, but because we're trying to turn this, or attempting to turn this into a bracelet, we're gonna start off this way. So we're gonna create our loop for the knot and loop. Let's uh, bring the left strand around like so. Like that, and then we take our strand on the right, bring it behind. Then of course we put it through this little gap here. And then we have our first snake knot. There we go. So adjust this to about the half inch diameter or almost, you know, quarter inch. So that fits our loop. Now we can start uh, tying the main body of the, or the head of the snake. So now we're gonna tie the sort of head part of the snake. So to start it off, got my red piece of paracord. This piece of paracord is going to be roughly the length of your bracelet. So now the end that's sticking out, this is going to be the tongue of the snake. So I'm going to give it that much. You can always adjust it later. So now we're going to tie a single cobra knot over the uh, single strand of cord. So let's do that. The right side over the core. Like so. Now you're gonna pull this all the way up here, okay? Be a little finicky at first, but it's okay. All right, so now that we have that, can keep that right there. Now that we have that, we're going to do the next knot. You're gonna start it off just like a uh, cobra knot again. But this time, we're gonna add one little extra step. So see the strand on the right? You're gonna bring the end of that cord, let me grab it, bring the end of that cord around and go through right here, okay? So this strand on the right, this end of this cord is this strand on the right. Bring that through here and put that through. And then now this side, the cord on the left, you take that end of the cord and put it through. You're going behind. Okay, this one came through the front. This one comes from behind and through. Oops, see, don't do what I did there. Get that out of here. There, just like that. See, I got caught on the cord there, but avoid that. You want it like this. And bring it through. And now, you're just going to pull all that shut. So make it a little easier, maybe just pull on these guys first. Pull that through, and pull that through. I'm just kind of pulling in these two ends to tighten it and pull that through. Okay. Oops, 
Don't yank that all the way out, of course. Okay, now we're just going to tie one more uh, cobra knot, like so. And there we go. So kind of push everything up, and that. Tighten that. There you go. So that is essentially the head of the snake. Use your imagination a little bit, <laughs> but you know what I mean, right? It's kind of uh, narrower at the top, kind of tapers out the sides and goes back in again. All right, so now we can start tying our snake knots going down this way. So now for tying the main body of the snake, we're just gonna tie snake knots, but this time it's going around a core. Right, so the way we do that is take the strand on the right, bring it around both the uh, red and the green on the left, like so. Loop that behind, like this. And now take this strand on the left, bring that around to the right, and take this end here and go through that loop right there. Okay, and then bring all that through. And then now you can kind of cinch it up. Like so. It's a little different because we have that cord running down the middle, but you know what I mean. Get everything nice and tight. So let's go again, just for clarity. So again, bring the right strand, bring it around. Both the strands on the uh, left-hand side. Like so. And then bring this strand around to this side. And go through this loop right here. And cinch that up. So that is basically it for the main body of the weave. We're just going to continue tying snake knots all the way down. See the snake kind of forming there, right? That's the head of the snake there, and there's the body. So we're just going to continue going, tying these snake knots. Let's go a little faster now. Bring this around, bring that through. Okay, so continue tying your snake knots all the way down the length of your bracelet. And then uh, get about as much length as you need and we can finish it from there. All right, so keep tying those snake knots. Okay, so I'm almost done tying the body of the snake. Now I've got about two knots left before I can tie the diamond knot. And what I want to do is cut the red cord here because I don't need it really anymore. Actually, you could have cut it earlier. But anyway, I'm just going to snip the, uh, the red cord here. Uh, I'm probably going to melt it a little bit and then tie two more additional snake knots to hide this, uh, this red cord. Okay, so yeah, clip it where it is when you have about two, three knots left. Tie the two or three more snake knots and then uh, we can tie the diamond knot. Okay, and there we have it, guys. We are done. The tree snake paracord bracelet, or you know, snake paracord bracelet. It's done. So I want to give you a quick look at it on the wrist. So there it is. And this is the type of bracelet you would wear. You know, normally you'd wear the clasp, you know, on the inside, so you don't see it. But the showpiece is the clasp area, so you can see the snake like that. It looks pretty cool. It looks like a snake is wrapped around your wrist, right? So that is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this kind of combination paracord critter slash bracelet project. 
you found it useful and enjoyable. Remember to check out my affiliate links uh, to check out where I get all my paracord and stuff like that. When you shop through the, uh, those links, you're helping out this channel greatly. And I always appreciate that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.